And what does it take to be happy? An upcoming happiness class scheduled to take place here on October 22nd at Heart Class uh, claims to have those answers. It's a class described to be about emotions, behavior, and relationships. This is the poster here. It's something you would expect to be taught by uh, someone who has some sort of training or education background in psychology. But the man teaching these courses admits he doesn't have those credentials. The University of Toronto says it has nothing to do with this event. It's just renting out the space. The man is charging $10 for people to get into these classes. He's also telling them not to waste their time on Psychology 100 courses, psychologists or therapists. I believe I can revolutionize psychology and I'm starting that process October 22nd. What I've done is lay out a hypothesis for what the unique biological purpose for each emotion is. And nobody's ever done that before. Mainly, as I said, because they can't do it for the group emotions without being thrown out of mainstream academia. Some may say that your posters and your classes are misleading. So how do you respond to something like that? So I don't think I'm misleading everybody. And I'm, I do tell them what my assertions are. And in the class, I lay out all of my logic in a way that they can easily understand and decide for themselves if they're right or not. They'll be able to watch relationships around them change. And they'll see for the four, first four years, for instance, that couples are very hot and heavy with each other. And then by year five, suddenly things cool off. And I think that's the proof of my point that men stop doing fireworks after four years. The posters have been spotted on subways in Toronto, and they seem to be marketed towards women. Amongst the claims is that women only fall in love with men of equal or higher rank, and that men fall out of love after four years. The ad also uses the same blue and white colors used by the University of Toronto. Though on his website, Mark Devon does say he doesn't have a background or training in psychology or other related fields. The posters don't include that same information, and an experienced psychotherapist says that can be misleading. There is nowhere on the poster that it speaks to um, whether or not the instructor it has credentials or professional designation. Mm -hmm. So from what I understand, um, when you go to his website, he states that he is not a trained professional, but that requires an extra layer of research. What are the dangers there for someone who does attend without knowing who the individual is or what his qualifications are? The audience assumes that the person giving the workshop is informed, experienced, and trained to be presenting the information they're presenting. The dangers of attending the class and taking information as gospel uh, can steer people in the wrong direction. The fact that the, this gentleman is not trained, does not have a professional designation, is not even in the small print here. It's actually something that they would have ha they would have to investigate. Is there a way to regulate um, classes like these? I don't think that there's a way to regulate classes and um, and seminars. I think that it's incumbent upon the uh, the attendee to do their homework. It really is caveat emptor. I think that. A you know, you could be a tarot card reader and hang up a shingle that says that you're a therapist mm -hmm. and, um, and that therapy in and of itself is an unregulated profession. Devin tells me he does have an MBA from Harvard and a uh, Bachelor of Commerce from U of T. We did reach out to the University of Toronto about the use of um, the colors in the posters. A spokesperson tells us there is always concern when an external organization gives uh, an impression that their event is affiliated or endorsed by the school. And in this case, they tell us they did reach out to the organizer to express those concerns.